This is a screencast to demonstrate how to export your commercial project from GarageBand to YouTube and then post it on your blog. Right now I'm working in the most recent version of GarageBand. This is GarageBand 10.0.1. For those of you who have the other version, I'll be switching over to that in a little bit and showing that as well. If you are working in the new version of GarageBand, once your commercial project is done, you would go to Export Audio to Movie from the File menu. Give it a name, Final Commercial Project. Actually, I should say First Commercial Project. And I like putting things on my desktop. Easy as a Command D that puts it on the desktop. And then choose Full Quality if you're working in the new GarageBand and then save that. It will mix all the tracks down, bounce them, put them in one project. And those will be out on your desktop. Let's just hide Chrome for a second. iPod commercial. It would be first commercial project. This is the one that we just made. Open it up in QuickTime. Give it a listen. Make sure it's working. And everything is there. Yep, that's my music. And then from there, you would go to YouTube. Make sure you're logged into your account. Upload the video. Click on Select Files to Upload. And Command D opens up the desktop. If you're looking at Date Modified, click on that to give you today's date, open, and it will start uploading. While it's uploading, you can type in the description, I made this in music tech class, read my blog, dot blogspot.com to learn how I did it. Give it a tag like music tech. Notice I'm not putting in any information like iPod or Jason Aldean or Hicktown just because I don't want YouTube's content matching system to tag this video and either replace my hard work with their own music or to mark it as being a copyrighted um, using copyrighted material. Since we're doing this for music tech class, this falls under fair use, educational use. We're not doing this for profit. We're learning how to work with audio. So your video will be live here. Click publish to make your video live. Click publish. Boom. It's ready to go. It says the upload is complete. It's still processing, but you can still click on the link, which takes you to the page, which should then give you the video. Play through the entire video, make sure that it all sounds right, and then go to the share button underneath the video. Under the share button, you'll get the option to grab the embed code. That'll come up in a second here. That's what I would like you to copy and then paste into your music tech blog. This is almost done here. Let's just refresh the page. Share. There's the embed code. Click in the frame. Select all with a command A. Select command V. Oops, undo. Command C to copy. That was it. Then go back to your blog. If you are signed in already, click on new post. and click on HTML so that you can paste in that video. If you go back to Compose, you should see it in there. You won't be able to play it here yet. Oh, yes, you will. Look at that. How about that? It's all working. And then you should go back to your GarageBand project, take a screenshot, Command-Shift-4, 
allows gives you the bullseye so that you can select a portion of the screen if you would like to talk about a certain aspect of it like clicking on the um, automation curve button here in the new garage band will give you let's find that here it is will give you just a picture of that portion of the screen and it's opening up right now in preview that'll come up in a second here Open, open sesame. Well, in the meantime, we'll go back to GarageBand. We'll take one more screenshot. Command Shift Three takes a picture of the entire screen. You heard the shot. Goes out here. This is our screenshot. Hit the spacebar just to do a quick preview of it. Double click on it to open it up in preview so that you can do some annotation. Preview is being a little finicky right now. It's waiting. Got a couple of programs running. Fans are working hard. Which means I'm taxing the system pretty well. Preview does not want to show us those right now. Well, you would go back to your blog. Let's do that. And after typing about your project and saying everything that you did in your project, then you would click on the picture button. You would upload and choose from your computer, and you should have that screenshot on your desktop after you've annotated it, drawn circles and arrows and things on it, say add selected, it comes into your um, article window here, you can put it wherever you want. I would give it a caption so that people know what it is, Garage Band 10.0.1, and make sure that you write about it. When that's all said and done, you can do a preview of your article see that everything is there looks good you won't be able to play the video from this preview and you won't be able to click on the screenshot but you can see what it's going to look like before it goes live just x out of that window click on publish and then it's gone live you can click on view blog and then you can see what that article looks like when it's finally all published live the video will work you'll be able to play that And there you go. That's the process of exporting your video from GarageBand 10.0.1. Now, I said I was going to also demonstrate that for the old GarageBand. And to demonstrate that for the old GarageBand, we're going to pop on over to Rebecca Clark's um, account here because she is running an older version of GarageBand. And this version of GarageBand, let's just close this window. GarageBand 6.0.5, so this is a little bit older version in the Music Tech Lab. The procedure for exporting in the old GarageBand is a little different than it is in the new GarageBand. And there's a very important difference. And to do that, I'm going to just move her screen over here just a little bit so that we can start up. start up Chrome on her computer. Okay. Let's not do that right now. Quit. 
<coughs> excuse me. Let's bring this back here. I'll jump to the page on my computer here. Last semester, Sienna Chung wrote a nice article about the special way to upload from the old GarageBand. And so we go to her blog, scroll down her page, and find her first commercial project. Her first commercial project was written October 18th, 2013, and it has special video settings, audio settings, and other settings here. Um, I'm just going to copy these right now and throw them into text edit just so that I've got them close by. You can always go to her blog and find them. That's going to allow me to pop back and forth between these two screens pretty easily. So it's time to export. On the old version of GarageBand, we say export movie to disk. And you want to choose the export setting. It'll probably default to full quality until you do this the first time, and then after the first time, all of these settings will be set. So export setting, and then click the blue export button. It will start its mix down. While it's doing that, it's getting you ready for this next phase of export movie to QuickTime movie and then click on options. Here's where we get to set the video settings. So video settings, compression type, all of these six items here we're going to set under settings. So there's the compression type, H.264. Next is frame rate. 30 is the best, so we come over here and we look at frame rate. And right now it's on current. We want to set it to 30. Frame rate is on 30. Next, data rate automatic. And that is clicked on here already. That radio button is selected. Next, keyframe automatic. So we go to keyframes, choose automatic, make sure that radio button is selected. Next, frame reordering should be remain unchecked. So if it's checked, uncheck it. Make sure this box is not checked. And finally, we go to audio and sound settings. So that's not under here because this is standard video compression settings. So we click OK. And we go to sound settings. Click on that. Format should be AAC. That's in this first drop-down menu. Make sure that you're selected AAC. Then it says View Advanced Settings. That check mark is right here. So make sure that check mark is on. It says click the constant bitrate encoding method. So show advanced settings. Right now it says average bitrate. We want constant bitrate under the encoding strategy. Finally, under other settings, size, select the original size of the movie. So we're done with sound, we click OK, and then here is size, the size button. Right now it says current, and that's exactly what it should be on, the current size of the movie. Come back here, prepare for internet streaming, the quick launch. OK, fast start. That's the quick launch. Yes, prepare for internet streaming fast start. Okay, let's give it a better name here. We'll call it first commercial project. And then I like putting things on the desktop so that I can find it. First commercial project, save. It will finish the export. It'll be out on your desktop, and then you would go through the same procedures on YouTube. Log into your YouTube account, click Upload, upload that. Um, make sure the name and the description and the tag say nothing about iPods or the music that you put into your uh, project, just so that Content ID matching does not tag them. Make it as generic as possible. Upload it. 
um, click on share, grab the embed code, go over to your blog, paste it in, you're done. I hope you've learned something about exporting your commercial project from GarageBand, uploading it on YouTube, and posting it on your blog. Have a good day. Great, we lost it.